what's up guys uh quick update on the stereo situation in the forerunner we got it resolved i guess i don't know if resolved is the right word but got it fixed so um any of you who followed along know the last couple days uh, i've been stereoless because the factory stereo has been stuck in a boot cycle uh basically it wouldn't boot up um it was doing it over and over again went to several dealerships um some of them said they would try to diagnose it for $125. What I know is that uh, their diagnosis will be to replace the whole system. Uh, a couple of dealerships said, don't even bother because we can't do anything. We would have to replace the whole system. Uh, everybody keeps saying, update the system, update the system. Guys, you can't update a system that won't boot up. It can't be done. It was, it was done. Um, just from what I found reading, it sounds like the hard drive probably crashed, whether it's a hard drive or a solid state drive, but it was done. So long story short, uh, I of course posted on YouTube, posted on Reddit, and somebody on Reddit who was also a subscriber followed up with this post, um, which worked out perfect because it's the same year for runner. Uh, mine is a 2018, does not have navigation. It, my forerunner is not a navigation head unit. Um, but I knew it would work, everything but the navigation and some of the apps. So let's flip you around here. So here it is. Um, did the swap last night and a couple wonderful things to know. Uh, so I suspected that I may be able to add an aftermarket GPS antenna. Um, this had it installed already. Now, again, this is a 2018 TRD Forerunner, no navigation but the antenna was installed in this rig. Um, in fact, it was plugged into the back of the factory deck. I don't know for what. Um, I don't know if it's used as part of the satellite radio, but as you can see, uh, we've got navigation. Um, we all know that the Toyota navigation is not very good. Um, it flat out sucks, but it's in here. Um, I use this for navigation anyway, so not a big deal, but it's got it. And more interesting is you see the W for West? I didn't have that before. That's something that came with adding this head unit. Um, so nonetheless, this is in here. It works. Everything works exactly as it should. Um, and one trick. So again, the Entune apps are nothing great. A lot of people hate them, but I still wanted to get them to work. Now here's the funny part. When you sign up for Entune and you enter your VIN, if you don't have a premium trim level, which will have the Entune apps, um, it won't let you in. So the workaround is you just need the VIN number from any Forerunner uh, or at least similar vehicle that has Entune. Um, so go online if you want, I'll give you the tip, just go search like you're gonna buy one, a Forerunner, and any of the car sites online will list the VIN numbers with their vehicle. So you can just search out exactly what you want. I happened to be at a local dealership trying to get this fixed the other night. They had one on the, the lot used. I just took a picture of the sales sheet what happened to have the VIN on it. So using that VIN, it let me in. I was able to get all the apps to work. Um, again, navigation works. And as an added bonus, several videos ago, I added the photo cell. So if we just take and if I throw something over it, it throws it into night mode. So again, my parking lights are on. Um, cover up that photo cell. It thinks it's nighttime. It goes into night mode. Take the hat off of there to uncover it. Well, it may not flip back to day mode because we're sitting in the shade now. <laughs> so it thinks it's nighttime and the sun is setting. Um, but that all works. Again, everything works as it should. And I've got all the apps. It's all, you know, yeah, yeah, we know. Everything works. So again, just wanted to give that heads up. Um, big thanks to, I believe your name was Sam, for hooking me up with this. Uh, helped out a lot, saved me a lot of money. I didn't have to go buy something aftermarket, which I really didn't want to do. Um, and we're back, we're good to go with factory GPS, or factory navigation, everything works. My satellite radio works, Bluetooth. Um, man, for the week I didn't have any of that, it has not been great. So again, uh, thank you for everybody who tried to fix the problem, uh, but again, you couldn't update it checking the, it wasn't the fuses it, it was done guys it's literally just done so 
uh, again, thank you. I just wanted to give an update on how that all went. And pretty excited.